Okay, nak sentuh sikit tentang the lari tu eh. Uh, thank you for bringing that up. So, there are ramai sangat lah. Ramai sangat orang suka berlari setiap hari which is not wrong. Uh, that's your choice. Kalau you are competitive runner, I kenal ramai orang yang kata Coach, uh, you kata kena jari, lari jangan lebih sejam tapi I tak boleh sebab I memang suka lari. Okay, that's your choice. That's your choice. And there are people out there mempunyai kepercayaan that kena berlari atau bersenam baru kurus. That's another community of people lah I tak nak sentuh. Tapi there are people, dia orang suka berlari sebab dia orang dapat the runner's high. You know lepas lari macam, oh I lari 5 km, some sort of achievement atau feel good feeling. So that's endorphin. So endorphin adalah sesuatu yang kita dah accomplish. Dopamine and endorphin. So dopamine ni macam makan coklat. Pasal oh sedapnya, oh bestnya. That's dopamine lah. Instantly you rasa. Endorphins on the other hand adalah bila you completed, you rasa awesome. So kepada mereka di luar sana yang selalu suka lari lepas you rasa oh bestnya, I completed, oh bestnya penuh. That is actually the runner's high. Orang panggil runner's high. But in science, cuba komen sikit kat bawah apa yang you all pelajari dari episod hari ini. Also, jangan lupa untuk subscribe and share this video dengan kawan you all yang nak sihat and kurus. For the endorphin effect to our brain. And bila seseorang tu dah accustomed to their lifestyle, macam seminggu lima kali dia orang berlari, dia orang suka that feeling. Tiba-tiba musim cuti. Musim cuti semua orang berhenti berlari, pergilah rumah mak mentua ke mana jalan-jalan. At that moment, you just broke your habit. Which is normal. Tapi you masih nak cari that sort of good feeling. You tak dapat pergi training sebab dekat rumah mak mentua ke, rumah nenek ke, you nak buat apa macam. Then the closest thing that you could do is still makan. Because you will have similar feeling macam berlari. So, baru sedar kan benda ni. So kepada mereka di luar sana yang runners mesti macam ah oh, kenapa ya yang macam tu sebab tu sebab bila you dah habis lari you have accomplished something we call it endorphins kemudiannya bila you break your habit di mana tak boleh berlari sebab pergi visit rumah orang you still want that feeling you still chasing that feeling the closest feeling would be makanlah coklat tu sebab it's a dopamine effect rasa hampir sama so that's why orang confused eh. kenapa dah lepas bersenam gila-gila Lepas tu orang ni go back to previous lifestyle because the brain want that feeling either, either dopamine atau endorphins If you do not know how to differentiate Macam I kenal daripada klien bagi tahu, Diorang akan berkongsi kenapa macam tu So I faham lah diorang seek for what? Endorphin atau dopamine So that's my part kepada anda semua regarding about Jangan so obsessed tentang berlari I know most of you guys suka berlari It gives you feel good feeling Maybe some of you heartbroken So running makes you feel better So I faham. Tak berani do not get sambil to... dengar lagu break up song uh, kan. Betul, betul. I kena I'm one of many of them juga dulu masa hard broken macam. Okeylah bersenamlah sehari tiga kali because it makes you feel better. Okay. Uh, But faham? Jangan obses sangat dekat situ and bersenam tu tak wajib. Bersenam is benda sunat and mak- jaga makan tu benda wajib. So kalau you tahu sembahyang tu benda wajib, wajiblah tak payah nak tunjuk-tunjuk kat orang yang bersedekah. Benda sunat je. Kan? Hmm. 